straight to this snatched ass eye makeup look Ooh. i haven't done yellow eyeshadow in such a long time so if you guys want to see how i created this look please keep watching hello guys i'm coming back at you with another tutorial here we're on a roll today i just snatched my hair in a pony and i'm heading out today and we have a white backdrop today Woohoo! i know some of you guys were missing the white backdrop some people love the white backdrop some people like the colored backdrops I cannot win. So we'll start with primer first. This is from Sicily and it's their famous primer. The one that Nikki Tutorials and Jeffree Star all talks about. Putting a little bit just on my T-zone. And it's really nice and like quite tacky and quite moisturising as well. My skin's been super dry recently. Don't know how much it controls oil but you know, gotta go with the flow. Also I just had my lips done at Flawless yesterday. So super swollen today and I've got bruises here and I just put on some lip balm so... Please excuse this. I went to go see Holly from Flawless Cosmetics when she was in London and she was so, so good. I really, really liked her. Her cheekbones are super snatched. Flawless have like loads of different clinics so they kind of travel around the UK. So I'll leave the link down below. If you guys are interested, they do loads of like lips, jawline, cheeks and there's five different nurses. Holly's the owner. She's really good and she's really experienced and she's been doing it for like five years. So yeah, I'll leave the page down below so you can check them out so i'm actually going to do some cream contouring today yeah we're taking it there i'm going to use the hourglass almond vanish stick i haven't done cream contouring so long the shade is quite warm so it's definitely more of like a bronzing type of contour not really like a shadowy contour i'm going to take my morphe g40 brush and I'm kind of like tapping it in because I don't want to remove any coverage that I have underneath with the foundation. A beauty blender probably would work a lot better than a brush for this step. And then just blend it into my forehead, right into my hairline. Okay, there's someone mowing their lawn outside. So if you hear that buzzing, it's the freaking lawn mower guy. So I'm going to go in a bit of concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. Good old Maybelline, you know. I haven't used this in ages. It's underneath my eyes. So it's super nice and bright. So I am literally addicted to Ashley Graham. She has a new podcast and like a YouTube channel and it's so good. She interviews like loads of different people and it's like 45 minutes long. So good when you're getting ready to like kind of put in the background. If you guys have any good podcasts that you recommend, like I would love to know. I'm also so obsessed with Stacey Dooley at the moment. Like I'm always obsessed with her. She's freaking amazing but I've been like just watching loads of her interviews and stuff. She's just such an amazing human freaking being. Dogs, lawnmowers, they're all out today. Okay, so now we're gonna bake with the secret brightening powder. This is the actual size of the powder, guys. It's a very tiny powder. It's not a sample size, that's the full size. And I'm gonna go in with my little beauty blender puff. So much hair in it. What the hell? I think I dropped it on the floor. I hope this does not give me flashback because that would be so freaking annoying if it did. I'm just setting it underneath my eyes. Kind of slightly bake as well, give it a bit more extra powder so it really settles in. Make sure you blend out any creases before you put on loads of powder. So this powder I think is mainly just for under the eyes. So I'm only going to set this here and then on the rest of my face I'm just going to just lightly dust it with a brush instead. Okay, so I just super snatched my nose. It looks a bit crazy right now. For highlight today, I'm using the Marc Jacobs new highlighter. It's super pretty. This is a part of their Christmas collection. It's in a shade called Guilty. How cute this packaging is. Yeah. The only thing is so big, I have nowhere to freaking store it. So it just sits on my desk. And then I always forget to use it. I'm just going to apply a little bit of Omaritza Queen of Hungry Mist. So it just helps the skin, especially where the highlighter section kind of goes. Just gives it a bit more life, you know. So a little warning, this highlighter, you do have to have a bit of colour in your skin to wear it. Otherwise, on paler skins, I do find it leaves a little bit of a cast. Oh my god, I can only imagine this on a deeper skin tone. It would be so gorgeous. I think this would be so amazing during the summertime especially as well. Like on a tan skin on your legs and your body and your shoulders. Okay, so I just quickly did my brows off camera. And I do have a whole tutorial on how I do my eyebrows on my channel already. So we're going to cut some time off by, you know, me having it on already. So on my eyes, I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow base. Because I want to do like a yellow look. And I really want the yellow to really stand out today. So I'm going to use this Rumor Zero Number 4. Five. It's a really, really light base. And I'm going to pat this mainly on this inner portion of the lid. So I want this bit to be the most opaque so that when the yellow goes on top, it gets really nice and bright. I find yellows really hard to pack on because it 
sometimes kind of goes a bit translucent and you can kind of see through the yellow a little bit so you want to try to get like a really nice light base underneath so the yellow can really grip onto it and stand out so i'm going to go in with manny mua's life's a drag palette i haven't heard no one talk about this in a while but it's a really nice palette and i was looking for a good yellow and i remember there was a nice yellow in here so we're going to go in with campy okay so i'm just going to pack this directly onto the eye and i'm making sure to pack down and not sweep too much because when you sweep that's when people start getting patchy <gasps> oh my brush <laughs> yes use my toes sometimes i feel like i'm a monkey guys honestly i pick up stuff with my toes i can put stuff back with my toes guys i would love to know what do you guys like to watch on youtube like forget makeup tutorials or if you only watch makeup tutorials let me know down below but i am actually really really obsessed with trying to find like other stuff apart from beauty i felt like for the longest time i was just in the beauty community but there's actually a whole different side to youtube there's like so many things on youtube like loads of documentaries which i'm obsessed with watching documentaries i love unreported world if you guys love documentaries you guys need to watch their stuff so the one about madagascar was so so sad like over there for some reason they think that twins is like a curse so as soon as the mum balls that twins they have to abandon the child and like throw away the child basically or your exile from the village and it's so so sad there was also another one about the most polluted place the most obese place like so so good make sure you check out unreported world if you love documentaries if you guys know any other channels that do loads of documentaries i would love 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 to know i love just leaving stuff in the background and listening to it it's just so so exciting i love being educated about you know what's happening around the world because i don't watch the news or anything so i want to be able to educate myself but in an entertaining way kind of thing sometimes i feel like when i watch tv and news and stuff it's just too political and it's just not fun so yeah love documentaries love ashley graham who else do i watch on youtube i actually love drew binsky i think that's his name he only does like three minute kind of similar to documentaries but he basically travels around the world and he does like little three minute videos and he kind of explains like tribes around different villages what it's like to be in cambodia he goes to like weird places his goal is to go to every single country in the world i'm just using a big blending brush i'm just buffing this out i also love oh my god jk news jk party always watch them i literally love them if you're asian i feel like you would definitely love them so jk party they basically play like games and it's really, really fun on there but not like game as an actual game game they play like board games games and like challenge videos and all this fun stuff where they eat weird stuff jk news is all about like the news like current situations that's happening around the world but they have like their funny spin on it and it's kind of like a table talk type situation okay so i'm gonna go in with the carnival palette from stacy marie in collaboration with be perfect i'm gonna go in the show shuffle which is quite like an orangey shade. And then just on the outer corner, I'm just going to start to work this crease and make it a bit deeper, but still kind of in the orangey kind of yellow realm. I have no idea what I'm wearing tonight, guys, but I have no idea why I wanted to wear yellow eyeshadow so much. I'm using my Smith 232 brush, which I absolutely love Smith brushes. A lot of people don't talk about Smith brushes, but they honestly have that one of the best brushes ever because they're so nice and like blendable. Also, I have to say thank you so much for all the love you guys showed me on my boob video. I know you guys are waiting for that for such a long time. And when I first went in to do my boobs, I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to put up the video. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like on my channel, I don't want to put myself in a box of that girl that always just has surgery. Because there's so much more to me than just freaking surgery. But obviously, they're like my most watched videos. And I never want anyone to feel like they have to have surgery to fit in with society or fit in on social media so i was like oh maybe i shouldn't post it because i was traveling so much i didn't have time to edit it but then i kept kind of putting it off because i was like oh i don't want people to like judge me or you know especially because i went to elite i had a really really good experience at elite if you guys don't know two weeks after i came back or maybe three weeks after someone actually died you guys can read it on the news and stuff but it's obviously so sad because i went there i had so many messages as well and it's like oh my god like i don't know what to say like it's an awful thing to happen to anybody but at the same time it's also 
so many things that can go wrong especially with me doing like social media and i have like a platform and stuff i do feel really conscious and i never want anyone ever to like go somewhere and then they hate their results because of me the same like i show you guys an eyeshadow palette if you buy the eyeshadow palette and you don't like it then i don't know like do you keep blaming me i have no idea but it's really really terrible and obviously my thoughts go out to the family so much and i hope this kind of like reminds people that surgery isn't an easy thing there's like a lot of things that go into surgery that could happen you might get an infection you might be allergic to the anesthesia there's so many different things that can contribute to all the factors of surgery so definitely do your research and with any surgery that you have like you know even Grant, he had surgery on his wrist because he fractured his wrist in a most bad accident even when he went under with the nhs he had to sign so many documents it's like signing your life away a lot of people actually die from the anesthesia rather than the actual surgery because anesthesia is basically putting you to sleep it's so controlled as well like if they put too much in it can like knock you out if you have anything to eat or anything that's why it's so so dangerous and there's a special person that just does anesthesia i can only show you guys what happened to me and how my results were so thank you guys so much for understanding and show me all the love you guys did on that video because i I was really scared to put that out to be honest okay so we're gonna darken this up a little bit because it looks a bit too freaking summery for me so we're gonna do like a really nice dark brown on the outer crease so i'm gonna go in with rowdy obviously i just saw here that there's a yellow as well so you can obviously use the yellow in here i've got this palette from beauty bay by the way i'll leave all the links down below to all the products i use of course and there's not even a mirror here and i'm gonna blend it into that orangey shade and really like buff this out and i kind of really want to like carve out this crease as well i feel like also this year is like the year of like eyeshadow palettes don't you guys feel like so many eyeshadows and so many collaborations coming out which is so amazing like, i feel so so proud that like us as normal human beings that just happen to be on camera has built this platform where there's big companies that would like to collaborate with us the other day i went into Superdrug and i saw my collection and it's just so crazy to know that it's there for just people wandering around to go and buy i'm just building this crease up this is the zoeva 228 brush and i'm just going back in with that shuffle orangey shade and i'm just blending all of the colors in together to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that it needs to be all really nice and smooth okay, so just blending out my other eye and then just underneath my eyes i'm gonna do a smoky lower lash line and i'm gonna bring it in all the way but i'm gonna kind of try to angle my eyes as much up as i can so i'm gonna grab shady and mug from the lighter drag palette because there's no black in the other palette which is annoying and i'm just gonna press it right under my lash line going as close to my bottom lash line as possible and i'm using like a flat shader brush here this is one for makeup addiction it's a flat definer brush i'm gonna add actually a little bit of snatched just on top of there just to tie everything in because i don't think it's quite warm anyways so i'm putting the shady black colour right on the outer corners and then the red colour is going to go more in the middle and then just underneath my eyes I'm going to start to blend that out so I'm going to use trade eyeshadow and I'm just going to buff that out just slightly just so it's not like a harsh line okay so I just put on some black eyeliner just on the inside of my waterline but I'm going to go in with some eyeliner now because I really feel this needs like a nice like big ass wing so I'm going to go in this eyeliner from Elizabeth Arden who knew Elizabeth Arden had makeup so I had a meeting with Elizabeth Arden. She was just showing me some of the cool skincare that they have. And I do actually want to show you guys. Um, I've been using this Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsule. So I actually thought these are supplements, but it's not. It's individual little capsules of serum. Apparently, this is 79% more potent than normal retinol. And it has no preservatives or anything like that. So if you guys are looking for a good retinol, I'd be really, really liking this. And it doesn't give you any peeling or any dryness or anything like that, which normal retinols do. So I'm going to go straight on top of this and I'm going to do a really nice dark eyeliner. And this eyeliner is really nice and super liquidy, super black. Also, it doesn't bleed as well and it's matte. Okay, so I'm really thickening this eyeliner, especially from the outer corners. And then I'm going to go directly out towards the end of my brow. This eyeliner is super black. What? I don't know why on one eye I always start from the inner corner, then the other eye I'll start from the wing. No clue why. Shit, that wing went so far. Did not expect it to go that far. Fuck. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> why? 
why? The flick of the wrist was too strong. So now I have no other choice but to make the other wing thicker now. This is the rabbit hole that we get down with the eyeliner, guys. It goes thicker and thicker and thicker. Such a shame. I actually prefer this liner, but now this eyeliner is like super thick, so I have to match it up. Okay, so just for my inner corners, I kind of want to like point this out a bit. I kind of want to do like a little outline of eyeliner, trying to steady my hand as much as possible and get the camera in focus. Okay, so I'm going to move to my Epic Ink Liner from NYX as it's a bit more precise. So I'm trying to do this cool like Instagram eyeliner type thing, but it just doesn't work out, guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to fix this off camera and I'll be back. So, okay, so I tried to fix it, guys. I just literally filled it in with black. I tried to do, like, some cool negative space eyeliner and it just, it, it didn't work, guys. So I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna go with the Sleek Black Utopia Mascara. It's got a super fat but thin brush. It's super cool. And then the lashes I'm gonna apply on today is from Gemma Isabella. She's actually an Instagrammer. She's super beautiful. She's in the back here. I don't know what the style is. I don't know why. A lot of brands don't have the style of the box on here, but it looks like this. It goes from thinner to thicker on the outer corners. I'll see if I can find it down below in the description box. So I have the lashes on and that is the eyes done. So it's super nice and like sunset and I just want to play around with yellow today. So I'm going to go on to lips next. It's just going to be a nude lip. I'm going to go in with Suede Lip Liner in Free Spirit. I'm just going to line my lips. My lips are really swollen and a bit more swollen on this side because we have more filler put in. So I'm going to have to make sure it's really nice and even. Oh my god, it feels so good having a bigger bottom lip again. This eye would look so fierce with like a black lip or like something a bit more edgy but I'm actually going out so I need this to look cute. <laughs> and then for the lipstick I'm actually going to go in with the new suede lipstick. This is in the shade called Fetish and these lips are so nice and affordable but so creamy and so pigmented. Oh my god my lips are so sore it hurts. Why can't we do this? <laughs> I haven't done like a really pale nude in a long time and then I'm going to do a glossy lip as well. On the lips I'm going to go in with the Fenty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. Give my lips a really nice shine. I really want them to come out like a really pale nude in this. I think that would be so pretty. I love the formula. It's so glossy. Okay guys so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like the kind of pop of yellow and the browns and the sunset and all that good lashes liner all that stuff. If you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and also let me know what other colours you guys want me to do. Let me know down below because I really want to experiment with more eyeshadow colours and all that good stuff. Also so I really want to do maybe like a hair tutorial, like quick little hair tips because I'm not very good at hair. So maybe I can show you a few different hairstyles. Let me know down below if you're interested in that. If you guys haven't followed me on all my other social media platforms yet, it is just X Tweely or Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys, enjoy the bloopers. You. What? You got your mic on. Yeah. I know you, you last video, you dropped it. Is he playing game? Greg, you should be editing, not playing game. Boys, man, boys. Why do I love playing games so much? Like, focus on your real, actual life. Fucking losers. Setting spray for Morphe. Mmm. 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 You know.